Hi. Happy Friday. I'm a coffee. I've been up since five and I've been doing some work. I still need to get ready. I have to go meet someone at 10 o'clock, but I was taking a little breakfast break and wanted to have a little chat about the pot pie. <laughs> For those of you that tuned in yesterday, I went over to some church member's house uh, with my husband last night to do church church duties, church wife duties or priest wife duties. And um, was, you know, I had a conundrum. So I told you guys I would check in and talk to you about the pot pie. And I think this is the only time I'm going to get to do it. Hi, guys. Good morning. Um, okay, so here's what happened. Number one, we, okay, so before I went over there, I did have a snack. I had a one point like a sandwich bagel thin with um, some sliced chicken breast deli meat, both from Aldi. Um, so it was like a three point little sandwich, which was good because we didn't actually eat, I think until seven or something. I don't know, but I didn't go into it like super hungry. Okay. So that worked out. And then all of your tips and tricks really helped me. So <laughs> I think one of you guys told me to take a small serving of the pot pie and kind of spread it around a little bit and then just talk about how delicious it was. But let me just tell you, holy moly, holy magoli, it was the best pot. I don't know if I just worked it up in my head, honestly, but it was the best pot pie I've ever had. Um, <laughs> this woman could cook. She lives out in the country. And, um, you know, country cooks are the best cooks, um, especially if you live in the South. So ah, we had a really nice chat. We talked for a while and then we, she pulled out the pot pie and it was in a big nine by 13, ho our homemade crust on the bottom and the top, like a nice thick crust. And it was, it was glorious. So what I did she let us all serve ourselves, which was really nice. So I just took, you know, just a little, maybe a half a cup serving of it. And then I, I drank two big glasses of water while I was eating it because I had a smaller serving than everybody else and everybody was talking. And so I like didn't want to be the first one finished. This sounds very crazy that I'm talking about the pot pie. But anyway. It worked. She had some potatoes on the side, so I had a little, uh, you know, a little scoop of potatoes. And that was it. And her husband was so excited because he was like, this is my one of my favorite things that she ever makes. And it was, y'all, y'all, it was good. I don't usually say y'all, but y'all. So, oh, yeah, Relentless Pursuit of Shade says the pioneer woman, she adds butter to everything. Oh, yeah, this was totally something out of a Pioneer Woman, Paula Dean, you know, TV show. Um, have a good day, Pat. Okay, so we survived the pot pie. And thanks, guys, for your tips and tricks. Um, I have, as of today, 6.9 weeklies. I'm doing point. Um, I'm doing, let's see if I can show you guys this. One moment, please. Um <laughs> So I do decimals on iTrack Bytes. Oh, look, my fingernail popped off too. They've been on three weeks. So what, you know, what are you going to do? Um, so I do decimals. I feel like it's a little bit more accurate. I already had breakfast this morning. That's why some of them are gone for today. But I have 6.9 weeklies and then I have 11.8 activity. So just to kind of let you guys know, if you're coming from the WW app, we don't get, it seems like we don't get as many activity points as we do on the WW app. Okay. So, um, my Fitbit has not really synced with iTrack Bytes very well. So it's like, I'm not getting points for steps, but I think that that's fine because here's kind of my, here's my thought on activity points. Number one, unless you're super duper duper active, probably better to not eat those if you're trying to lose weight. Okay at least in my experience. Um, I also think that 
we kind of have to be careful with all these points awarded for steps. I love that we're all getting steps, but the whole point is to have a deficit here, guys. So if we're eating all of our weeklies and all of our activity points, then we're not really getting a deficit, right? But I want, but I want to say that this is case by case because I know some of you guys really work out hard and you need the extra points for activity points. Now, weekly, I have a different perspective on that uh, after doing some research. And we're talking about eye track bites conquer cravings, which is the old momentum plan, which is the plan I was so successful on. So I did some research. I'm over on a Facebook group for eye track bites conquer cravings. And the admin over there often gets asked, you know, I, I believe she's a coach over there. She often gets asked, do we eat our weeklies on conquer cravings? And this, and this, Admin says, yes. She says, um, I cannot say enough about weeklies. You have to be eating above your daily points on this particular plan. I was like, okay, tell me more. Well, what's really helped is to have your secondary measurement on eye track bites. I don't know if you guys can see down here. Let's turn the, turn the light down again, Amy. Um, if you can see right here, I'm tracking my calories. Okay, so calories is a secondary metric. So you don't have to turn that on, but if you just want to kind of see if you stay at your minimum, and some of you guys are at 18 points a day, remember 50 calories for a point, you may only be getting like 900 calories unless you dip into your weeklies. So here's what she says. She says the science between behind, I'm sorry, the science behind weeklies um, here's the bottom line on some plans, especially conquer cravings, weeklies are not extras. Okay. I think in Weight Watcher land, we have this idea that weeklies are extras. And I think that some of the plans that's true, I think you can really overdo it on weeklies, but on the older plan, she says, these are simply a chunk of dailies set aside for you to use as often as or to use as and when you like, okay? Um, so let's go to her next screen. Um, on Conquer Cravings, 50 calories is roughly one point. I've told you guys that before. If you're on the minimum 18 times 50 calories, you're only getting 900 calories a day. Even if your target was the bare minimum of 1,200 a day, you would not be meeting this only eating your dailies. So you don't want to under eat on this plan either. Um, so she said, what about the other plans on carb conscious, which is the old points plus uh, one point is 40 to 42 calories. So she says, um, you still would need to eat some of your weeklies to get within range. And then on sugar smart and better balance, which are the new freestyles and green plan, the blue, the green and the blue plan. Um, it's different because of the way the points are figured. Now there is no reliable calorie to point ratio. So let me reiterate that on the new blue and green plan. And I would, I would bet that uh, purple is the same. Um, calories, I'm sorry, points are figured differently on those plans. So there's no reliable calorie to point ratio. So it's hard to say whether you should eat your weeklies or not on those plans. I know that's clear as mud, probably because I just woke up a little while ago and I'm not making a lot of sense. But um, I think it's important to kind of remember that we're dealing with some different ways of calculating points. Uh, and that's why that secondary metric of calories is helpful because it just gives you a little additional information like, okay, you know, maybe you fudged your points, you're doing blue or something and you fudged your points and you're like, how am I within my point range, but I ate 2,500 calories today. It's very, very possible. I was over watching the skinny this week. I was walking one night and I was watching the skinny, the girls from the skinny, the twins. And back when freestyle came out, they were really struggling because they were like, Number one, they got super burnout on eggs, corn, you know, lean chicken, all the fat-free turkey stuff, all that, the fat-free yogurt or the 0% yogurt. Um, but they said that their, their intake was really high of those things. 
and it caused a stall and then a weight gain. So we kind of have to look at all of that, you guys, um, and take into account the fact that you have to work the plans a little bit differently. And you know, even purple, you're looking a lot at satiety and whether you're satisfied or not or full or not, especially on purple, because you have so many zero point foods, you can really do it if you're not the person that can kind of stop themselves. And that's who I am. I think one of you guys commented yesterday also, um, I love counting points for <laughs> fruits and veggies. So on Conquer Cravings, uh, you do count points for starchy vegetables and fruit. And for a lot of you guys that are doing the newer plans, that may seem like, oh my gosh, I can't imagine going back to that. But for a lot of us old school Weight Watchers, we like that. We appreciate that because we need that stopping point and that accountability. So like this morning, I had a banana and a banana on uh, the plan that I'm doing, momentum plan, uh, could be anywhere from one point to two points, depending on how much it weighs. So a four ounce banana, which is really kind of a smaller banana, is only one point, but a six or seven ounce banana is going to be two points. So I've been buying the smaller bananas, guys. A lot of it is in the head too. It's like, oh, I'm getting the whole banana, but it's only one point. So um, let's see. Okay, lilac rose. This is a great point. <laughs> Uh, Lilac, I love this. She says, I wonder if the weeklies are to keep us from eating the exact, exact same points every day. Do you remember the old Wendy plan? Yes. And uh, Lilac, so this is something that we were talking about over on the Facebook board. So one of the ladies had posted her kind of her weekly points for the week. And it looked like she was only eating or she was eating 20 points, 20 points, 20 points, 20 points every day eating exactly 20 points. And I think she had either had a little bit of a weight gain or she had stayed the same and she couldn't understand. She's like, I'm perfectly on plan. Well, our bodies get used to us sort of doing the same thing every day. So the windy plan was where you would vary your points and you would eat higher points, lower points, higher points, higher points, lower points. Um, and there's some other variations of that. And I think that's just kind of a way that we're sort of like tricking the body. Um, we don't want our metabolisms to slow down. And so I definitely think, yeah, having those extra points during the week is really invaluable because you can vary your diet and not be eating the same thing every day. For those of us that have been doing Weight Watchers for a long time, we know that if we eat the same thing every day, <laughs> our weight just tends to kind of just level out. We're like maintaining, maintaining, um, especially if you're eating the same amount of calories every day. So it really helps to get varied levels of exercise, varied levels of calories, eating different kinds of foods. Uh, somebody else commented yesterday about sodium, being really sensitive to sodium. As I get older, I'm definitely noticing that I'm more sensitive to sodium. High true treats. Um, relentless pursuit of shade. I agree, Amy. If you do an extra workout, then yes, eat the activity calories, but don't eat the, the calories that you burned on your regular workouts. Um, relentless pursuit of shade, I think that's a really good point. And that actually comes with being a seasoned Weight Watcher. Um, you know, I feel like steps are something we should be doing anyway. I don't know that you should eat your steps unless you did above and beyond say your norm is 10,000 and you do 20,000 steps, you know, you may need to dip into those activity points. And what she's saying right here is that if you're doing an extra workout, that might be the time to dip into your activity points. But the whole, the whole point here is to have that deficit, especially if you're trying to lose weight. I'm not talking about lifetimers or maintainers here. Um, good morning, Janice, my friend. Janice, how you doing, girl? Are you drinking your coffee? I am. Here's to Janice. Janice and I love our coffee. Um, nurse N95. Oh, my gosh. I love your name so much. Um, <laughs> you're saying, are you having less cravings, knowing that you can easily fit anything into the older plan? Absolutely. Uh, I've talked about this a lot, and I use... <sighs> I use the word normal and this is all like subjective on my part, but 
I feel like on this plan, like last night, okay, going to um, these people's home and knowing that they were going to be serving something that I normally would not make for myself or order for myself or eat myself. Okay. In the past, I would have skipped out on that. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have said no to so many dinners out, dinner over at people's friends, potlucks, parties, because I didn't feel like I could like trust myself and I didn't know what to do. And I felt, you know, that's, I don't know, there's probably just something wrong with me, but <laughs> it gives me a lot of anxiety. And um, also, I know I have I have very, I personally have very little control over food. I let, I let food control me. And so if I don't go into something with a plan, I just sort of freak out and I either don't eat or I eat too much or, and, or I say, you know, screw it and give up. And, um, last night I didn't do that. And I think it's because I am planning ahead a little bit better. Now, does that mean that the church potlucks, if they ever come back, are going to be more comfortable for me? no. I get very uncomfortable in those situations. Um, if I don't know like what's in the food and that's why it's important to bring your own dish to something like that, which I do, but I still just feel really like uncomfortable. And then also I'm a nurse. So a uh, nurse N95, maybe you can identify with this. Um, I grew up, my mom is a retired nurse. I grew up very much like a germaphobe. <laughs> I'm just being straight up with you guys. And my whole job has been like going into people's homes and stuff. And I always like overanalyze like who made this? Did they wash their hands when they made? <laughs> I don't know. I, I have, I'm weird. Okay. I'm weird. So I always overanalyze, especially in a potluck. I'm like, did they cough on this before they came? And this is way before this year. This is way before 2020. Um, you know, I circulated the OR for years. And so you're always, you know, taught about like airborne pathogens and fomites and all of these things. And so <laughs> you get to be very paranoid and you're like, this potluck is not a sterile field. <laughs> so I know it's crazy. It, it's totally, she gets it. Nurse N95 gets it. Okay, my friend. So I have a nurse in here. I'm so excited. I think I have several probably. But, um, oh, Sila Fly, you too. Yes. She says, uh, LOL, germaphobe nurses unite. Yes, my, my nurses are in here. So you guys get it. So, oh my gosh. And last night, okay, so we went over to their house. Their house was beautifully clean. And, uh, you know, there's something to be said for going to someone's home and having it clean and you're eating over there. And, of course, we're all, it's 2020, so you know what that means. But... It is what it is. So yes, that was a very long answer to your question. I definitely have a lot more peace surrounding that. And uh, I don't know. I'm, in, I'm enjoying myself. Um, Susan Watson gets it too. I love it. I love that I've got all my medical peeps in here. So hi, Kathy. Um, oh, yeah. Kathy Vale says, absolutely true. I was staying the same. And then at Easter, I ate. I was afraid to get on the scale, but I lost. Yeah, you totally psyched your body out. Um, and I would, I would guess to say that if you are stuck on a plateau and you feel like doing something like this, it might be a fun experiment. You know, if you have a way in and you're stuck or you gained a little bit and you feel like, oh my gosh, I've been perfect. I've eaten the exact, you know, same amount of points and I haven't gone over and whatever. The next week, try to shake your body up a little bit. Go out and order the hamburger, the cheeseburger. You know what I'm saying? Um, and see if that doesn't help you. Sometimes that has helped me um, immensely, especially when I've been losing, 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 and then I'm stuck. It helps to increase activity or decrease it a little bit, increase water, and then change up my diet a little bit. Oh, True Dreets had a cake business. So you totally get it. Yeah. Oh, and when you own your own business and you're a baker or a cook or you have a restaurant, I'm sure like just the germaphobedness, germ germaphobedness. What is the word that we're looking for here? 
Uh, is there a, a phobic term for someone who's a germ germaphobe, like a diagnosed? It wouldn't be like an OCD thing. You guys let me know. I'm sure there's a uh, term for it, but I have it like big time. In fact, I was over there last night and I, <laughs> you guys are going to laugh. Right before we ate, I pulled the hand sanitizer out of my purse and I was like, anyone? <laughs> anyone? And my husband is trained. And so he is immediately like, you know, puts his hands out and they kind of looked at me like I was nuts, which I am. You guys know I'm nuts. Um, hi, Dorian. How are you? Okay, so that's what happened. Um, I thought that was kind of useful information on the weeklies. And that is from the actual admin over there on the iTrack Bytes Facebook page. Um, and she, it's a whole post that she did. I would recommend reading that. She says, how and if you use your weeklies are up to you, but the science says use them. Okay. This doesn't mean use them for one week and panic if there is a small, sorry, small what, lady? <laughs> I screenshotted this. <laughs> I think she's going to say small gain. Well, that was a fail. I screenshotted her whole thing. It's hard to read off of a phone when you screenshot some of these things. Okay, I'm done. Um, go read her thing over on the iTalk Bites uh, Facebook page. I'm in that group over there just under my regular name. And I've been posting some recipes and watching other people's progress. And I will tell you, when you're in the Conquer Cravings group for iTrack, for iTrack Bites, there's so much success over there. I'm like, people are doing great. I'm like, yes, this is awesome. Oh, miso, misophobic misophobic. Lorna, thank you. Am I misophobic? Hmm. Lee Walker, what's her name? The lady, the admin over there? That's a good question. Are you asking me that, Lee? You know I wouldn't know the name of, I don't know what the name is of the person, but um, I'll try to post the link over to that page for you guys, <laughs> and then I'll try to cut and paste. Here's what I'll do. Let me cut and paste what she said and I'll put it below and I will attribute it to her. So I don't want to like plagiarize her or anything. This is not my thoughts. This is the iTrack Bites people thought. Um, okay, Lee, I'll put it down below for you. Okay. Uh, Dorian, just come back and watch it. It's just me talking about pot pie. Dorian said she missed the beginning of this chat. Okay, guys, so I will see you all later. I'm going to weigh in tomorrow. I'll come talk to y'all after weigh in. And we have like a busy weekend this weekend. I have a Tupperware party tonight. I have tomorrow we're doing an outside church service, which will be awesome because there's less risk involved with the outside church services. So uh, a lot of the churches around here are trying to do things outside. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and then, of course, I have church again on Sunday and some other little things that I'm doing. I'm sitting here. I'm actually about to uh, address and pack up. <laughs> I'm sending out some party favors. <laughs> Look at these. Okay, this is not Weight Watchers related. So if you need to go, I get it. These are called smidgets. And they're things that we give away as Tupperware consultants. Aren't they cute? So I'm sending out little smidgets. And I'm sending out, I got to show you some of these things just to make you happy. If you like little miniature things, they make me happy. This is called a uh, Fridge Smart. And they have these little keychains. This is like such old school, funny stuff. Look at this little keychain. Um, this is like straight out of my childhood right here. But they are functioning like little pieces of Tupperware. So I'm sending these out to some people just for a party that I did. Isn't that cute, you guys? Um, so I have one of these in my purse. I put all kinds of like Tylenol and stuff in there. Uh, let's see. Dorian, you love the miniatures. Me too. I'm like completely a mess when it comes to miniatures. Let's see if there's anything else I can show you. Oh, look at this one. So cute. I got to show you guys this one. You guys can go if you need to go. I'm just blabbing now. Uh, okay. Kelly Vaughn is answering a question. Let me see. Leslie Jones says, I'm trying out Conquer Cravings this week. It's fun to try a new plan and I know nothing about it. 
Okay, and Susan Watson. Okay, I can't figure out how to get to conquer cravings. Okay, let me show you. Let's stop talking about Tupperware miniatures for a second, and let's go back. So on your iTrack Bytes app, okay, you click on that. If you look at your iTrack Bytes app, it's interesting because you have a little head down here. That's you, okay? So you're going to click on that that says profile underneath it. It says profile, okay? And you get to this page right here. And then your face, if you have a picture uploaded, that's my head. That's my actual face on a better day when I have makeup and my hair done. Uh, you're going to go to this wheel at the top right-hand side. Now, this is on an Android. I don't know what an iPhone looks like. But um, I would say go to From Dumpy to Divas YouTube, and she does tutorials as well. When you get to that, you're going to hit your wheel, your settings on your app. And it says My Profile. Then it says Weight Loss Plan. Then it says Reminders. And then it says Settings. You're going to go to Weight Loss Plan. And once you click on that, it goes to another screen that says weight loss plan. You're going to hit on that again. And then that's where you're going to see all the plans. You should have all these little dudes, <laughs> these little emoji dudes. And our emoji on Conquer Cravings is a little dude that has a portion, it's portion control, a portioned size of his head being taken out. Okay. Because, you know, we're talking about portion control. And that's it. Susan, did that help you? Let me know. Okay, so when you click on that, well, I'm already on it. So that's where you pick your plan. And once it's highlighted, you're done. Okay. Um, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six different plans on iTrack Bytes. Uh, if you're looking to do blue, it is um, better balance. If you're looking to do green, it's called Sugar Smart. If you're looking to do Points Plus, it's called Carb Conscious. Okay, good, Susan. I'm glad it helped. Fabulous. Um, okay, let me show you this last thing. I'm going to go. i got to go. I've got to do this this morning. I've got to go meet one of my patients, and then I've got a lot of charting to do. Look at this. It's so cute. <laughs> we have these little microwave pressure cookers. But I just love the detail on that. I think Catherine's in my over in my Tupperware. Oh, and says so Janice. Look, it opens up, and you can put all kinds of little like quarters or Tylenol or something in it. Anyway, those make me happy. So that's what I'm working on today. I will see you guys tomorrow for weigh-in. If I get a chance to upload a video, I will. I have a couple of uh, different videos on my phone that I need to edit, but. Have a great day. Stay in orbit. Get your trackers out. Okay, for most of us, it's the morning time, and we can track today if we so desire. We get that choice. So I've already started tracking. If you want to track with me today, get your tracker out, um, and I will see you all later. Bye, everybody. Bye.